Hey, it's Carl from artistshred.com, and I'm here with the Epiphone Les Paul Melody Maker E1 in Ebony. unboxing and first impressions video of this guitar. Some of those first impressions haven't changed. Let's just, let's get to the specs and then I'll get to my opinion. So made in China, it's got the cheap Epiphone tuners, two single coils, one volume, one tone, and a three-way switch. 24 three quarter inch scale length, like Les Pauls are. It's really thin, really light. It's around five pounds and it feels like a really cheap guitar. I got it for $111 on sale. Subscribe to Riff City if you wanna hear about those deals. It's got the SG Special Style Wraparound Bridge, I'm gonna call it. Sim very similar as far, or basically the same bridge as the SG Special Limited One that I reviewed a while ago. Let me just say also, since I brought that guitar up. As far as cheap budget Epiphone guitars, I much prefer that SG, not only because I like the way it looks, but I like the way it sounds and I like the way it feels a little better. This one, yeah, it's so light and everything just feels cheap on it. The knobs are cheap, feel cheap. The pickups are cheap and sound cheap. The neck feels I mean, the neck actually feels fine. Similar, really, to the SG. Probably the same type of neck. Yeah, 60s Slim Taper D. I believe that's the exact same neck. What I will say as far as positives about this, which is always nice, Epiphone has so far not let me down. I can recommend this guitar for beginners. If you want this style of guitar, it had no fret sprout, no high frets, no fret issues at all, and that's huge for, for a budget guitar. Kudos to Epiphone for that. Nice work on that. Again, that's a necessity for a beginner. I mean, maybe that's maybe it's wrong, but I like I have no issues taking a guitar to get a setup, but I also think a beginner's guitar should be basically playable out of the box. That doesn't mean the intonation and things like that need to be set up or the string height needs to be perfect or anything like that, but it should be basically playable. And this one definitely is. You can see what it looks like. You can't feel what it feels like, but it's it's literally, I feel like I could throw this a hundred yards. It's, it's just, it's so light. What kind of wood is this? It says body material is solid wood. Okay, it seems, it feels like balsa. Pickups are, 650 SCR ceramic single coil and 700 SCT in the bridge. Also ceramic single coil. Special features, body wood. So very odd descriptions here on this, on this uh, listing. Fretboard radius is 12 inches, uh, 22 frets, plastic nut. It doesn't say, but it's almost certainly a plastic nut. It says the body finish is gloss. I think this listing from Musician's Friend is completely wrong, or not completely wrong, but pretty wrong. It also says it has two volume and two tone, which it doesn't. It's got one volume and one tone control. So I don't know what, what they're up to there. Uh, they got some bad information and maybe they just don't care because it's such a cheap guitar. But uh, let's get to some sound demos. And uh, if you want to see more cheap guitars, if you want to see more expensive guitars, if you want to see any kind of guitars on this channel, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you want to see in the future, and uh, I'll do my best.